Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Tiny Zoo. Hope you're well, thanks for tuning in today. So today we are going to be building a habitat over here, just to the left of our sheep. And oh look at that, you're just in time to see the aardvarks mating. No, oh, they're so cute. So yes, this is what we are putting in, as you can see. Aardvarks. Who doesn't love an aardvark? Right, so my plan, as you can see, I've raised the uh, the land up a bit here because I want to try and just get a bit of height variation in the terrain. And it's, it's going to be a relatively simple habitat, this one. As you can see the shape, it's a, a simple rectangle. Um, but obviously just made a bit more interesting by having some extra height in it over here. I, obviously it's a bit kinky at the moment, I still need to straighten it all out, um, but I just wanted to show you the basic setup and layout. Uh, back here you can see I will create a small backstage area. Um, so again, you've got all the buildings in here, the backstage stuff, so I don't need to do anything there, I just need an access path uh, connecting the two, so I've done that. So as you can see, so they come out here and straight into the back there. Uh, so that worked out very nicely indeed. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan. Again, it's going to be very nice and uh, bushy, overgrown. Um, I want to do some kind of a bed area up on this flat piece here. So I want to do a, a custom made shelter of some sort there. Uh, the water is just temporary, um, just so they could have some drink while I was thinking about it. Uh, the water will stay here, but I'll probably elongate it over here a bit more. Um, maybe do some rock work around it, I think. I'm not too sure really. And then just lots of sort of trees, bushes, all, all my usual stuff um, to try and blend it all in with the rest of the zoo. Um, so yeah, let me go away and do a bit more work and I will be back in a moment. Too much, just, uh, just want to give you a little update uh, on what I have done. So a bit of rock work just around the bottom here. I've created a, a small pool and I, I wanted to um, sort of create these steps. Um, Oddvarks aren't the most agile of creatures, so I wanted them to have a nice gradual slope down into the water there um, so that they can have a little swim. And uh, oh, they're so cute. I absolutely love Oddvarks. <laughs> There's just something about them. I just think they're, they're hilarious little creatures. They really are. Um, so yeah, so they, they've got this their own little pool down there, which I think works really nicely. They can come in and out. They, they, they can come straight in from the sides as well, but I, I like to think that they'll step down gradually into the water there. Um, and as you can see, I've started work on my custom shelter. So this piece here, um, what is this? It's a, an Arctic wood roof curved fascia. Okay, there we go. I think it's a fantastic piece. I, I've used it for several different purposes in the past. Um, and I thought it, it creates a perfect shape for a small shelter. And luckily the aardvarks can actually walk underneath here. So what I've done, I've done obviously this is the open end where they walk in. And then at this end, I've used the same thing. And then I've just copied it downwards to create uh, an entire wall of it. And I think that looks really nice actually at the end there. A um, little bit interesting. It just it allowed me to keep the shape and then rather than faff around putting planks of wood in the middle, um, I thought just copying that down looked rather nice. Um, I may just jagger them a little bit so that they're not overlapping because um, you're getting all the uh, the graphics fighting with each other there. So I may just move them in and out just a tiny bit. Um, so the idea is down the, the inside here uh, will be planks of wood and then on this side where there will be a pathway coming up here there's a glass sheet so that people can see into the bed and then there'll be planks of wood below and then above that as well. That's the idea. Um, so the aardvarks can be sleeping in there and the public can watch them in their bed. Because we all love to see aardvarks asleep, don't we? Because look at that, look at that. Who wouldn't want to watch that? I mean, just look at that nose. Look at the ears. <laughs> just, oh, they're awesome little things. I love them. Uh, so there we go, that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, so I'm going to continue working on this until it's done and then I can work on the shrubbery. Um, obviously I will smarten up uh, the edge here. I think I'll probably continue this curb along this edge 
and then right butting up against this bit of barrier here I'm going to create a fake pathway coming up here I think um, so I want to do something creative with the steps there rather than just boring stone or wood I'm going to try and find something different that I can make steps out of um, at this end uh, so let me go away and do a bit more all right, here we go then I've been busy as you can see the foliage is in um, so I've gone with uh, this tree here look at this it's a lovely looking tree desert bloodwood tree and so what I've done I found the one that I liked and then I did my technique of, of copying it and turning it on the same spot so I've got three trees there um, but it makes it look like one big one because um, I really want that corner to fill up uh, so yeah I'm really really happy with that uh, and, and another tree uh, is this a, it's an elm at the back here yeah I wanted a bit of height in here um, uh, obviously you can see I've put enrichment in and various bits of foliage not too much again just dotting these shrubs around a couple of the larger ones here and here just to add a little bit of height and um, you know the aardvarks can still come in into their water and they've still got plenty of room to walk around um, but they've they've also got a bit of undergrowth certainly in the back corner here they, they quite often they disappear right inside here and lie down um, and the same actually right up next to the shelter here uh, so the shelter is done as you can see so planks of wood around this back side here and then on this side uh, the planks with the glass so that you can watch them so you can stand here and see I mean you can stand here and see in as well but yeah, you know you, you get the idea of what what I've done and why obviously you've got some bedding in there as well now unfortunately for some reason the aardvarks actually don't use it um, I, I've not seen them come up here once yet they can use it as you can see from the traversable area they can go right in there and use it um, but for some reason they don't and I have no idea why usually whenever you put the actual bedding down for an animal they they are encouraged to go and sit in that area but for some reason these aardvarks just won't do it um, but there we go that's uh, that's the game for you i'm not going to worry about it too much i like how it looks so i'm happy with it now you're going to get a bonus this episode because i've decided on what i'm going to do just here and there is actually going to be another enclosure immediately on the back of this one um, and it's all going to be incorporated with the fake steps that I'm going to build up here. So I'm just going to continue it all in one video because it's it's a relatively simple enclosure. It's going to be tortoises. Um, so the, I don't want to do it as a separate video because it's not going to be particularly long. So I'm just going to incorporate this whole thing with this backstage area into this video. Um, so bear with me. Uh, I will go away and do a bit more work and I will be back in a minute very quick update here so you can see what I've done um, I found this piece um, the lovely piece what is it African decorative strip really simple piece that you can use for all sorts of different things and I've decided to use it for some steps and I think it looks rather good very pleased with that um, and then just some simple stone edges as well um, I think that looks uh, really nice actually as far as fake steps go as you can see I've done it um, sort of so you've got the steps but you've also got the uh, the back of the steps it's the same piece as you can see obviously all of this will be hidden eventually and then at the top here I've used more of these pieces this is what I use right back at the entrance to the zoo and again it, I think this is a lovely texture for a path so I've got some of them and I will continue them a bit further along as well um, and I've just started this enclosure I'm actually going to use the same um, the same shelter here for the tortoises I think it works really well um, I think I need to just widen this one more so I'm just going to delete another one of these on here um, but I, I've done it so that it looks like it's just one large shelter essentially one large um, construction um, because of this this is just perfect for tortoises um, so that's it so that's uh, this is going to be tortoises here um, I just wanted to update you on uh, these steps because uh, they came out really well and I just wanted to show them off basically and I've also just put the curb as you can see just along this edge that might have actually been in the last video but I forgot to mention it um, so there we go right let me go away now and get cracking on with this tortoise enclosure a quick update um, you can see I've put the structure here with the backstage wall and the barrier 
Um, I quite like this, the look of this pebble wall. It's, it looks more like a retaining wall, so it works really well where you've got different heights of terrain on each, each side. It really looks, um, this is what these are used for in real life, they're like retaining walls. Um, so I've gone with that there. The backstage I've, I've made pretty simple, so I've just decked it out with this, uh, um, this brick flooring, simple door, a few windows up here just to suggest there's uh, maybe a second layer up there. Um, and Phil, I had this corner, so I put a window in. I also just stacked some pallets in there, so it looks, uh, you know, it looks like a little storage area, um, nice and simple. And obviously, you've got the gateway here for uh, the entrance to this tortoise habitat. Um, now, what I'm going to do, because I, I, I wasn't, too, I was umming and ahhing a bit about what to do for this um, this barrier edge here. Um, now, I don't want it to just be a generic barrier, like a brick wall or or mesh or anything like that so what i'm going to try and do is create a natural barrier along here with logs because uh, tortoises don't climb particularly well so if i can arrange logs correctly um, then the tortoises won't be able to escape that's the plan um, whether it works or not i don't know but i'm going to give it a go so let me go away now and try that and I will come back to you and announce that it has either been a success or a massive failure. Who knows? Uh, but uh, I'll be right back. And I can announce it has been a success. So you can see here I've uh, I've used these dead logs, dead trees, and you just lie them on their sides and I've just arranged them in such a way uh, that it looks real, it looks natural, things are just lying on top of each other but the tortoises cannot climb over them and escape. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that actually. I think that's worked out quite nice. Uh, it's not entirely realistic, but to be honest, you know, tortoises are a very hands-on creature. In a lot of zoos um, where you have walkthrough enclosures, you'll have tortoises because, um, you know, you can you can handle them, you can pick them up, you can touch them. They're, they're really not bothered. So I wouldn't have any concern with a barrier like this. Uh, where the public could potentially lean over and, and touch the animals. It's really not going to be a problem. It's not like tortoises bite. Um, I have a tortoise myself. Um, they just don't do it. And if they do, they don't hurt because they don't have teeth. So <laughs> it's really, uh, really not a problem. So that's uh, that's worked out really nicely. I've put the, a, a large water bowl up here. I've also put a little one down there just to give them options for water. And in there bed here i have put one of my heat lamps in that i create using a rope an upturned pot and a light um, so that it uh, it, uh, it looks like that's a heated area and they do go in there unlike the aardvarks the aardvarks do not go in their pen unfortunately even though they can the tortoises have been in here so um, i'm very happy about that so all that remains now in this uh, in this enclosure is to get some uh, foliage in. So just one more update, I think, um, we'll have this one done. So let me just disappear and get that done and I'll be right back. And we are done. So what have I been up to? I'll put some benches down back here because I thought this is quite a nice little place to sit down and relax, eat your lunch and watch the tortoises. Um, I know I, I love watching our little tortoise wander around the garden. It's a, it's quite a relaxing thing. Put a couple of signs in, a no feeding and no touching sign. I think that's quite realistic. People would be tempted to lean over and touch them. Um, so yeah, just a couple of signs, nice and simple. And foliage, so I've got another, I've, I know I keep reusing these uh, uh, umbrella trees, but they just look so good. I just can't resist. Um, so you've got one of them there. Uh, what's this one? I can't remember. I oh, can't the larva tree. Yeah, so I thought that was quite nice. Something a bit different there. Uh, and then again, all my usual favourites um, just around the wall here um, and, and down here. And then just dotted in amongst just a bit of undergrowth around these logs as well, where things are, are growing underneath the logs. I thought that looked nice. Not too over the top, just, just a little bit, just to, to blend it all in together, make it look quite natural, like it's been there for a while. Uh, and then a few bits of enrichment around. You've got the, the feeding things up here to encourage the tortoises to be up here where the public can see them up close. So you've got a feeding stick and one of their licking frozen cube things. You've got a sprinkler over the back here, purposely again over the back so that it's not soaking uh, the public when they walk around up here on the path. And then a couple of toys. I had to put the, the balls 
down at the bottom here because obviously if you put them up here anyway they're going to roll down there anyway uh, so you've got a, a, a toy ball you've got a food one and I've also put one of these scent things back here as well and that is that so there we go so you've got two habitats done in this video um, oh yes I also did this I, I, I wanted something on this corner here um, so I put a, put one I planted in and put one of these giant trees in here and in fact this is two trees for the price of one in this so it's a what is this one the ghost gum tree and then what I've done I've put a smaller ghost gum tree down the bottom and in, in the middle here so the, the two are blended together to look like one giant tree and I absolutely love it I think it looks fantastic there it's just just really stands out doesn't it it's a, it's a lovely looking thing um, but obviously from from down here it I, I was I was walking on here and you could just I could just see too much you know I wanted I wanted some height in here um, I just and, and this the white bark on this tree just looks fantastic especially when you compare it to the red bark on this tree in the background here uh, that contrast is is really good and uh, and again I just had this open area here and it was just a bit you know there was too much I wanted something in it so um, so that was what I went with so yeah I hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode it's been uh, it's been interesting it's been quite creative I think and we've got our tortoises in oh there we go look our tortoises are actually using their shelter um, hopefully they can teach the aardvarks next door how to and uh, yeah one day one day <gasps> oh look at that the aardvark is in <laughs> Just as I mentioned it, the aardvark is finally using its little shelter. Look at that! Brilliant! I've got tortoise on one side, aardvark on the other. Fantastic. That is what we want, isn't it? Well, I'm going to leave it there because uh, it doesn't get any better than that, really, does it? Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I certainly have. I'm, I've enjoyed it a lot more now that my aardvark's in its house. So there we go. So let's leave with a nice overview of the park. There we go. So thanks again. I really, really appreciate you watching and enjoying. And uh, I've certainly had fun in this one. So I'll be back next time, probably working over this side of the park somewhere. But until then, take care of yourselves. And um, I will see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>